good day viewers at home, wherever you're watching up from. We want to greet you. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. How are you today? And um, here we are again to share with you what God has laid in our hearts. And this is Lightcast Entertainment, where you get all that you needed to know in this world and world in the globe. And I'm sure that you know that. So we want to appreciate everyone subscribing, everyone commenting, everyone liking our videos. I want to say that as you are doing so, God will continue to bless you. Amen. And if you are watching us now for the very first time, so just look at your right button where the root uh, subscribe. Just click on it and this will give you access to all our upcoming videos and you get to see more and more of information going on around the globe and any information you see on Lightcast Entertainment, it has gone through a whole lot of schooling and we can tell you that it's the vital need, information that you needed and it's so authentic. Thank you for doing so. Today on Mary Clinics, and we know that what we do on Mary Clinic is that, that we talk to ourselves about marital issues and we profile solutions. We will not just tell you problems without telling you the solution and the solution is not it's not experience based it's god based and it's what god had laid in our hearts and it gave me pleasure again to tell you what god wants us to share with ourselves today of course as we are saying it we are also learning and as you are receiving it i know that you are adding it to your way of knowledge and because you know we can be island of knowledge we get to know more and more things as we grow on in life so today we just want to look in what to marital issues challenges because i've come to understand that what make people to say ah i can't continue in marriage is one challenge or the other and don't forget that even in the world that we live in either you're single or you're married we are in the war, full of war. The Bible says, in this war, you will see tribulations, you know, afflictions, trials. He said, but be of good courage because I have overcome the world. So that you are married does not exclude you from the what the word of God was saying. It was actually talking to every man on earth that you will not just be leaning on yourself. You know, when you live in the world and everything was just going fine, I'm, I'm so sure, at least to, let's say, like 60%, you might not need God. But if there is one stone or the other on your way, you might probably want to check why is this stones or how best you can remove those stones. And that is why challenges are part of life. Now, when you have challenges in a marriage, it does not mean the end of that institution. Remember, the institution made no with hands. It's not an institution idea of man. It's the institution of God. And what he proposed in his mind when he was having the marriage is to continue to eternity. So I don't know what will come your way that will make you to say, no, I can't continue. And I'm sure the reason is that you are being faced with one challenges or the other. So we are going to be itemized those challenges, but we are going to pick one today to return back to you some other time. We have love, we have infidelity, we have sex, we have money, we have children. I know when you listen to all this, you'll be like, okay, how? How can love, how can infidelity, how can money, how can um, sex or children? Do you know that to an extent, some people have issue with giving their husband children. And thereby they say, no, 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 no. It's only one I want to have. I, if you cannot be okay with one, then I don't know. And, you know, they will begin to drag it. And before you know it, they can go on their separate ways. And this is not the mind of God. And remember, as we are growing up, nobody teaches us how to be happy, how to be healthy, than what a model our parents have given unto us. So they are the one that taught us that, okay, in marriage, you need to pass the fail. You need to be patient. You need to do everything possible to make the marriage work. But... The best way you can, you can face challenges and still stand in it is to go back to God. Of course, I know that you don't just pick a lady on the street. You don't just say yes to a man in the club without first and foremost asking God. You know, when we fail to realize that the very best 
we can do to ourselves before you say yes to anyone is to go back to God. Forget about the fact that many people claim that, but I don't hear God. When I pray, I just pray in my mind. I pray in my spirit. I never hear anything. It's a matter of time. If you grow with the Holy Spirit, it's going to be speaking to you via the word of God, via, you know, in your mind, you might be going. You have to identify be able to deduce the voice that is speaking to you. Of course, it will have tell you, oh, this lady is the right person for you. This man that is coming is right for you. Then if all these things are ascertained, then I like to tell you that if you have any issue in that home, you need to go back to that God that have given you an instruction initially. So let's talk about what the devil actually wants for the marriage. The mind of the devil has not changed as he has it in the book of John chapter 10, verse 10. The Bible says, but thief comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Of course, the mindset of the devil is to make sure that the institution of God don't stand. i like you to get that. So you don't allow ordinary money, though you say, oh, money. I know money is answer to everything. I know that it answer to everything. So also we also read that money is a is a is a, a bicycle of evangelism. Now this it was a bicycle then, but now I'll say that it's a jet of an evangelism. But that's notwithstanding, you will not allow money to rob you of the blessing of your marital bliss. It doesn't matter whatsoever the man is facing now, whatsoever the woman is facing now, but what you need to put in your mind that it's a storm and it's going to go. Praise the Lord. Amen. You know, many a times we, we quote the word of God from the book of 1 Timothy chapter 5, verse 8. He said, he would that could not provide for his own very home. It's at, it's at deny the faith and it's, it's not even better than infidel. I know that it's, it's, it's sweet to say so, but when you discover that your husband could not do as much as you expected, do you know the reason why God gave Adam Eve is not for him to stand on her own, but it's for him to compliment Adams in everything. In the naming of the animals, in working in the field, in do everything possible. The mindset of God when he brought Eve up was for her to compliment her aim in whatsoever he is doing. So as a woman, I know that you have been doing more. And that's because you have been thinking, oh, this man has left you to all the responsibility at home. But I am glad to share this news with you that even though you are doing that, the Lord is going to repay you. And doing so will not continue. It can't continue. So far, you are praying to God. You know, many a time when we are doing something, we feel, you know, we feel, we, we have joy in doing it. And that thing persists. But when you know you are doing something and you know it's not your right, go back to God in, on your knee. Pray to God, Lord, I know I can help my husband, but I want you, God, to bless my husband. I, I want you to bless my husband because I know this is the area of his responsibility. No, I, you know, when you begin to tell God, 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 God will quickly rise to your needs and he will answer such prayer because it's a sincere prayer. So I like you to know that in the world, anything, anything that can come in between you and the promise of God for your own, you must go away from it. So we talk about money, which is uh, an in integral part of marriage. You know, when there is no money. I remember one of our uh, tips that we share here. We said that in the call shift, for you to measure up your call shift, maybe it actually amounts to 100% when you remove money and sex. When, you, when that man don't, don't, you know, don't flaunt money around, when it does not take you out as such, like, doing shopping, a very huge one, buying your car, doing a all sort of thing when you're still cutting. You know, you will know the sincerity of that man. But when he begins to flaunt you, giving you, maybe he actually wants you for himself. He might not really love you. But now, we are in the marriage. We are in the home. So money is important. But it should not be the major that, ah, if there is no money, I can't stay. Like a so uh, common slang, they said, I am not in 
uh, Suru Lere. I am, I am Olorun Shogo. You know, what they, am, what they mean was that I can persevere. I, I want something now and now. You know, and there is a, there is a way God has planned and purposed every man on earth. Remember the word of God from the book of Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11. He already knows the thought he has towards you. He respond, he, he, it does not matter, no withstanding what you are facing right now. The thought of God for your life still stands. So it is you that you just need to go into it, enter into the covenant with God. Just remind God of his word. God, remember you have once said that uh, you will never leave me or forsake me. In this situation of, of ours, I want you to show yourself mightily. And it will definitely come. But many a time when we are faced with challenges, we look for, you know, solution around within our reach. We aren't going back to God. And I like to tell you that the only person that can give you peace of mind, that can give you abundancy, that can bless you beyond even your works, it's God. The Bible says, I wish above all things that you prosper even as you're so prosperous. So you need God in every challenge that you're facing in the home. Are we not sweet-coated uh, statement for you to say that there will not be challenges in the house? There will always be challenges in as much that we are living every day. But the best person to subdue, to make peace reign is God. And it is that God we need to go back to. You know, it is God. How do you go back to God when you are in challenges? It's when you are constantly, consistently giving yourself to prayer and studying the word of God. Study the word of God as if that is the only solution. Of course, it is the only solution. So I give it to you, mommy, daddy washing, brother, sister washing, that there is going to be, solu there's going to be challenges in the house, in the home. Even though you are yet to marry, just prepare your mind. And it can come in any ways. But in preparation, God is with you. God is what? He's with you. So, and there is no how it's, it's hard, no matter how the storm is waging, the Lord Almighty Himself will speak peace into it. Remember when the disciples were, wanted to move from one state to another, they were in the boat and this storm started raving and they were like Jesus Christ was in the boat with them, sleeping. Because they, they, Jesus knew that he can't be with them and they face trials and trials overcome them. So many a time, when maybe we, we, we quickly forget that Jesus is with us and we begin to find, you know, ways around, solutions around where solutions are not. Going fetish, going to one property to another, trying to seek, you know, diabolical, you know, solution to your problem. All this amounts to nothing because they will only give you and uh, your, your whatever you want in a quick time but it can't last long so i give it to you and I, I i plead you in the name of god that whatsoever that you are facing right now that in your mind you're already concluding that you cannot continue i can tell you that god is with you in there god is saying to you that i am with you even to the end of the world so just take it upon yourself put it in your heart and pray to God and he will answer you. I pray that as you are calling on God, on every situation of your life, of your home, of your relationship, maybe that relationship is not even working again. Maybe you have tried several relationships, you keep on being disappointed. I, the only person you still need is God. Maybe you are in the second marriage and you are still thinking of moving back. I'd like you to know that God is with you. Just need to be patient, be calm. Because he's the only one that can give you the rest of mind that you're looking for anywhere. Nowhere you can get it. You can only get it from God. I'd like to wrap up today's episode by saying to you that God is in the midst of his people. And God is in the midst of your marriage. So no matter how challenges is so hard, I am speaking the word of God into that challenges. That the Lord will put a stop to it in the name of Jesus. You will be happy in your home. Nothing will rob you of your blessings. Everything the Lord has predestined for your home, you will experience it in the name of Jesus. Thank you for staying tuned. We count on you for comments, observations, and suggestions. And we pray that as we are hearing from you, we will continue to be with you, speak with ourselves. And I pray as we see some other time, stay blessed.